Hey, I'm Nathaniel Shields. Um, I built this uh, castle tower. We got, uh, I guess, the concept for the build. I kind of wanted to build a tower, and then I kind of it kind of turned to I wanted to build a tower on the rock. So, uh, kind of started with the base, did some rock work, um, added a bunch of scenery. Um, I wanted to make it kind of tall, but not really bulky. Um, so that's why you kind of have this cylinder, uh, really skinny, but still a lot of details. I didn't want it to just be just plain blocks going up. Um, and then kind of went from there, these these two towers over here with the Coruscant planets upside down, I kind of liked that, those domes, so I kind of made those buildings um, around that so that it kind of fit. Um, but that's basically it. There's, you know, trees. I got some flowers running around, some uh, stairs going up the rocks. Just a bunch of little different techniques I was messing around with, so. Yeah. It's just a, a beautiful combination of many different great techniques here. One of them is the, the base itself is kind of that brick bending. So uh, yeah. talk about how, what that's like for you. That wasn't, uh, I actually had this base originally in another mock, okay. but knowing that I wanted to kind of make a circular round rock work with a, a tall tower, thought it would be best to incorporate this base with it. Um, it's not too difficult to make. You just kind of bend the bricks up, up to a certain point. Um, and it just seemed to work well for what kind of I had envisioned for the build. Exactly. And then all that rock work is really nice. Do you build that in different sections and kind of stick it on there? Yeah, so I kind of start with one section. Um, I can't remember which one I started with, but I start with one, kind of connect it with some Technic rods and ball joints so I can just kind of move it where I want. And then just slowly uh, kind of work my way around with just making the angles match up as much as possible, you know, to make it look sort of organic as possible with the you know the square bricks that we have so yeah. yep and then the little clumps of flowers in there and everything too will add some really nice detail so how, how do you get those attached and not falling off uh, well they're kind of just sitting there for the most part and honestly a few of them are just uh, hiding some cracks <laughs> that I couldn't fill in but it works really well with uh, just kind of tricking the eye that maybe the scenery's round and that you have that and it's fairly easy to build you just keep the flowers intact and then put the stems in each one and just kind of, you know, make it one whole piece there. Mm -hmm. So you can bend it and kind of curve it. Yep. And then as we move up the tower, what are some of the pieces used for the kind of the textured greebling look there? Uh, we got the kind of the mixel joints, kind of turn those upside down to kind of use like some texture maybe that would be in the rock work. Um, you got uh, lightsaber knobs here. Just kind of, I kind of went with a little kind of basic structure at the beginning and then kind of add a bunch of textures and little pieces to kind of kind of break it up with the eye and make it look more, you know, organic that they made it out of stone or something like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yep. And down here on the rockway, I really love, is that like flex tubing with the different uh, kind of clips on there to make that fence railing? Yeah, yeah, that kind of, I wasn't going to put a railing there at first and then I kind of found this piece and I was like, hey, let's, let's curve it around and see what I can do. And then it just kind of happened to, hey, I got all these arms, let's kind of hang it off that. Maybe it could be rope, you know, expand your imagination of what it could be. But it just kind of added to maybe more of the fantasy side of what what this place is. So, and what's it like bringing this to a show when you when you transport this around? Not too difficult. This is the first time I tried it. Um, the whole tower comes off into three pieces, and everything basically goes down to about this height. So, basically, the base can just fit in a box, and then all these other pieces I can fit in another box, kind of wrapped up. So, not too bad. Not too bad. Well, it's an excellent build, and you won the, the best castle slash knights here apparently, trophy, so congrats. Enough people liked it. <laughs> so. I think they did. Thanks so much for taking us through the build. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank you.